Hey guys, I'm Logan. We're up to Season 5, Episode 10 of Grey's Anatomy. Here we go. My mother called it the greatest and most terrifying moment in her life. He's a corrupt. Standing at the head of the surgical table, knowing that the patient's life depends on you and you alone. He's a corrupt. Yes. Because the first person that gets to fly solo in the OR. Stevens! He's a Stevens! Well, which is it, moron? Stevens or Corrette? Uh, he may change his mind. He's been known to <laughs> He just appears mind. now. Don't do that. Uh, she said gray. What? Come on, this is bogus. You just figure that out? Just have to wait for the attendants to vote, just like we did when I won. You win your solo surgery? Of course she did. Tim, you didn't feel the need to ask me that question. Yeah, of course I won. <laughs> I was good. <laughs> I was young, gifted, and black. And everybody knew it. The attendants knew it. The chief knew it. I didn't have to act like I could read lips. Just go about my work. The chief said that I made the choice. Who is it? <sighs> is it none of them? What? It's you. Damn it. I am happy to announce that the first solo surgery will take place tonight. A below the knee amputation is about the highest form of trust. The trust to put a patient's life in one of our residents' hands. Every single attending picked the same person, Dr. Yang. However, Dr. Yang is out of the running. He's <laughs> going to pick the winner instead. The winner will be allowed to pick a fellow resident to scrub in with. Good luck. So it's two of you. This is torture for me. Sir? Dr. Dixon's back. You'll be spending a day with her. She you is? Impress her. And you will make sure this hospital impresses her. I By the really end of the day, did not I think she'd come back. Be my next head of cardio. You said I had small hands. Good for surgery. Remember? No. No way. I operated on a heart and elevator. I don't wow. know why you guys are even bothering. We all know who she's going to pick. She's not going to pick me because I'm her best friend. She's going to pick me because I'm the best. Hey, stop! Oh, is are you coming? Got to go to the clinic. Blue season fun. Uh, yeah. Um, I will catch up with you. Me too. Shut up. Not you. Head. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Enough. I'm going. I'm. I'm. I'm <laughs> Christina still hasn't talked to me, which is normal, except it's worse. <laughs> Two weeks suspension, and she hasn't even bothered to say one mean thing. The thing is, I've been advised to seek out sex as a way out of my sad predicament, but I think I would rather just learn today. So, you. <laughs> Why are you talking about sex tonight? It's inappropriate. I'm your teacher. I have things to teach. The, the sex was out this last joke. <laughs> Dr. Sloan, <laughs> uh, I heard that you're performing a hyperbarance reconstruction today. I'm like a woman to speak again. Well, let's hope. I read up on the surgery and I was hoping you might need an extra set of hands. Fine. You can join Dr. Gray and me. Dr. Gray, I'm still waiting for. Right away. Thank you. <laughs> As discussed, I'll get the blood supply from your arm to the cartilage. Honey? Uh, honey. What is happening? Is she typing something up to talk? You can talk to me. Which will become her new voice box. Yeah, you should be aware there's a chance the procedure might not work. He's clear on that. I'm just reminding him not to get his hopes up. <laughs> I can answer. I'm ugly. It wasn't my fault. I had to tell John and those guys with Mia. Tell her. Shut up. Sisters, 16 and 15, crash your dad's car on the phone, so we'll start screaming at each other. She was driving and texting while driving. Is there a police officer here? I would like to press charges. Oh, you suck up. You suck up asses. I speed dial my dad. You're such a bitch. No, you are. No, no, boy, you're still Shut up. Shut up. I hate all of you. I mean, not, not y'all, like, both. Yeah, that's what I meant. I just said it in a different way. <laughs> I know you still see me as 
007, but that was day one. I've grown a lot since then. Anyone can have talent, but the key is to grow. So sure, I, I don't, I don't even know who deserves it, honestly. I some of my intern year, but... Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna have to check your x-rays, but I think your leg's broken and you'll be off it for a while. No! No! I can't miss my Future Leaders of America conference! Mom and Dad spent two grand, no, they've now wasted two grand! Hey, 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 I'm separating you two. You kill me, take away everything. How long have our eyes been like that? Tell him she might have a basal or skull fracture. Let's get her up to CT now. I didn't see him, so You can do scut. Where is she going? Just to run a few tests. Good! Get her out of here! Take her away! I hope you die! Oh, no. Oh, no. I see where this is going. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everybody. I will be right back with the keys. I want to get some nurses while you're at <sighs> This is up in the locker room, but those are kind of good with me bad names. You're mocking me? Sweet. Very sweet. There's a blind spot on this board. There's a surgery, but no surgeon. I would like to do a surgery, but it's an amputation. I haven't done an amputation since my residency. Is your stuttering pathological and persistent, or is it occasional and stress-related? I don't. Stutter? I have persistent pathological stuttering as a child, but it can be treated with rigorous speech therapy. I need to select one of my fellow residents for that slot. It's the first solo surgery of my class. The chief asked you to choose from your peers. Yes, ma'am. Mm. What does that mean? Is that <laughs> disappointment? <laughs> Some forms for your work to fill out. Uh. Now, a good time? Less than five degrees of angulation, right? Yeah, it, uh, uh, we can treat it with close reduction of the casting. Flexion extension views of the cervical spine? Uh, I, I, should, I should go see my patient. It would have looked like you were playing favorites. Good, you deserve it. Christina knows how. Even if you two are fighting. <laughs> you and Yang are fighting. We're not fighting. Fought. Past tense. How bad is it? Real bad? She's crashing. Hold on, Oh, God, that's bad. That's really bad. <clears throat> I don't want it to be a big awkward thing. I don't, so just, you know, you do what you have to do. Okay. Almost done here, Emma. Holly will be all right, right? I, it, she's not in, in like, she won't die. Emma, you didn't mean it. I said, I hope you die. That can't be the last thing she heard me say. All right, I'll go to the OR and get an update for you, okay? Okay. Uh, maybe just, I know your kids, but. Learning, learning moment. Yeah. Consider accomplishments. I wouldn't tell loved ones I hope to die. The new intern, nervous friend. Psycho, no appendix. Yeah, we talked. I mean, she came to talk to me, but it was like, it was like more than that, you know? The guy looks at you a certain way. My God. I made it up because I'm lonely and depressed and desperate for attention. <laughs> I'm not a new intern. Crazy moments, right? Crazy hot shit. No. <laughs> the hot ones are the ones that cause trouble. They're the ones that distract you from realizing. Take all that pent up sexual energy you waste thinking about hot, young, naked, available interns and put it back into your genius. Build someone an orchid. That's hot. She smiled. Did I mention she smiled? No hot interns! <laughs> So this valve right here flips open and shows hair. You're in my space. Back up. Just back the hell up. Uh, Dr. Greg finished prepping Ms. Patterson for surgery. She was in my space. Oh, it's hot sex. one of those out the hot hot sex. Izzy, it's the clinic, George. You can handle the clinic. You're lucky she even showed up. She hasn't been here all week. 
Girl, you need help. Dr. Shepard, what was he? It's funny, it's funny. But it's not happening. Like, it's, re it's not real. The blood supply to her brain was cut off and cannot be restored. Fixed the hole in her brain that allowed the brain tissue to leak through her nose. The subsequent carotid dissection has caused loss of her cerebral function. You do understand that? She's brain dead. I get it. Damn it. She's only 16. Damn it. That's good news. She'll be an excellent candidate for organ donation. Excellent candidate. Excellent organs. Young. You were robbed. You got screwed by politics. The chief and you're the scapegoat. It's so unfair. I can't do this. I, I, I can kiss ass when I have to, but not yours. Uh, below the knee amputation, make a transverse incision at the mid shaft of the tibia. Elevate the periosteum, cut the tibia and fibula with the bone saw. Ligate the vascular bundles and release the tourniquet. I've done four of them. One on a cadaver, three on stand. <sighs> you know their capabilities go with your gut. My gut? I'm not putting a patient's life in the hands of a novice surgeon based on my gut. Well, it worked for me. Huh. Your gut. Your necklace. Oh, right. Um. See ya. <laughs> She's waiting. She wants to answer my pages. So what do you want me to do about it? Well, you guys are together now, right? So why don't you talk to her and find out why she couldn't care less about her own clinic? Don't ever talk to me about Izzy again. George. Anyway, there'll always be surgeries. There won't always be fiancés who come back from the dead. Good point. Mm. You're going crazy. You're <laughs> like, some people get committed who are, who are like I'm this. I'm going to be able to let us here to connect it to the trachea. I'm not sorry. What? For what we did. It was extreme, maybe even stupid, but this program, I mean, you should be done in that go on, not up here in the nose, please. Dr. Sloan took the time to teach me today, and that was not about sex. <laughs> he likes you. Who? Dr. Sloan, oh, don't you have noticed his eyes on your ass? You are delusional. <laughs> Is he cutting into her throat? Bloody hell. Bloody hell. Oh, Dr. Bailey, for... would you rather do Mrs. Patterson's surgery yourself? I can leave. Dr. Sloan, I, I wasn't exciting, something new. And these residents are running around fighting tooth and nail for a chance to get to cut off a leg. You've made something where there was nothing, and it's thrilling. You were the hands down the best character yeah, on that show. It's just insane. Thank you. You're light Thank years you. ahead of everybody. Now, would you take the flat pains and join them to the internal jug in the place? Oh, that's sad as hell. She looks like she's sleeping. Can I touch her? Yes, of course. I'm very sorry for your loss, but tests confirm that although your sister's bodily functions are fine, her brain is dead, she has no thoughts, no emotions. I will be harvesting your sister's organs if your parents agree i'm very sorry for your loss but your sister can't wake up her basic functions are gone her brain is dead her body is alive but unfortunately unfortunately this is so unnecessary get out i have offended you but we are running out of time get out holly holly wake up please i would lose my shit on that woman if that was me, if I was, if that was my daughter, I would lose my mind. They'd have to like drag me out of the hospital. Like, are you freaking? Are you serious? You're talking. To, you're talking about my daughter. My daughter, who's probably dying, who is dead, basically. Have you ever had mind blowing sex? The kind of sex that makes you want to die. It's the best sex I've ever had. In fact, it's the best sex anybody's ever had. I don't know why anybody who's had this kind of sex. You're gonna get the solo surgery to mare, which is typical and boring and slightly corrupt, but at least I'm having really, really... No, I know you're nervous. It may feel a little strange at first, but just give it a shot. You haven't forgotten? Well, you can do it. A, B, C... No! No more post-its! No! Talk to me! Talk to me, damn it! Talk to 
minute. She's too dependent on it now. Maybe we should give her a little time. That happens with a lot of things. Yeah, just give her some space. Give her a five minutes of space. Hell, that happened with uh, with masks. Some people, like with COVID. Fault. Excuse you get so dependent on and used to something. Yeah, it was it was my fault. Even when you don't I need it anymore, you still wear it. So if you want to punish someone, punish me. Huh? You know who your father is, and you know he's why you're still here. So if I were you, I'd stop worrying about whose fault the appy was, and start figuring out what I was going to do to make up for it. Yes, sir. There are people dying right now. There are people dying. She can't hear her sister. She can't feel her hands. There are patients dying right now, and those organs would keep them alive. Leave feelings I, I know that you don't leave really understand it, but... Leave them out of the decision-making, because people are dying as we speak. Is she going to write her own name? Everyone. Congratulations. No, she's doing everyone. She's doing everyone. She's doing everyone. She's gotta be doing. Is she? Oh. Interesting choice, yeah. You made the best case. She did the comma and I thought she was doing others. Hey. What time is it? Hey. She picked me from the solo surgery. She did? It's amazing. <laughs> I love you. I freaking love you. I just got the solo surgery and the first thing I did is look for you. And you weren't there. I think it might be because you love me too. And because you're scared of that. You had that heart patient and it reminded you of Denny and how bad you felt when you were lying on that bathroom Yeah, and now you're having trauma. I get that. And you're going through I things and you're saying things and you're not saying anything. But you're not going to have to feel like that again. I think you're my best shot. I think with you, you make me better. So I'm not going anywhere, and you can stop hiding. And if you want to be scared, that's okay. Just be scared with me. Be scared while you scrub in with me for my first solo surgery. You love me. Shut up. <laughs> I'm really starting to not like that guy. Girl, it's in your head. God. Because you have to believe that if it were you in this bed and Holly was sitting with you feeling this bad, you would forgive her. I knew this was gonna happen. I knew exactly the moment she said that I was like, oh, this show's gonna kill her off. No matter what you said, no matter what happened between the two of you, she loved you. So you're right. Christina and I are fighting. Just go. Talk to her. She's your best friend. It's important. And I'll tell you when you become a doctor, it's gonna be like this. And I'll tell you that you're gonna lose more patience than you save. Sixteen. I'm sick of the death. She doesn't know how to let it go. It's okay. Nobody else is here, it's just me and And then once you take that step, you don't need it anymore. Hi. Hi. That's that's incredible, honestly. TV show, but Dr. Dixon. Dr. Yang, you tortured her today, making her choose among her peers some kind of emotional torture. Is that your intention? Yes. <laughs> We're fighting, and I don't want to be. I know that's why you didn't choose me, and I know that's why you made it personal, so let's just move on. You made it personal. He was the most prepared. That's why I didn't choose you. Not because we're fighting. Unlike you, 
I can separate my personal life from my job. Oh, oh, that's true. That is true. A lot of people can't do that. None of you said anything. Those were all our interns. But I won this. If I don't deserve the solo surgery, then none of us do. I think there's something wrong with her, Mayor. There's something wrong with all of us, George. No. It's not that. It's... It's Alex. I'm out of here. Page? I need you to scrub him on me. Where's Sissy? I'm freaking out. I told her I love her before. A solo surgery. I can't believe that. Who does that? And now she's not going to show up and I'm freaking out. Stop. Stop freaking out. If you screw this up and kill this guy, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> then I'll know I should have won it. You have to take it back. You ready? He's ready. There you go. Where? Is this the boiler room or whatever? What is this? I don't know what it's called. It's in a time, not a space. Anything can happen on it. Getting close, close. I'm just not there in the you made her speak. Mrs. Patterson, she said hi, she spoke. You, you made her speak. <laughs> so, teach me. Teach me. Don't stop. Teach me. We can't do this. You're a little gray, and, and, and I promised. And I'm your teacher. Teach me. Teach me. Come on, am I really so bad? No. I am. Oh no, dude. And everything that happens in between, we owe it to ourselves to find a little company. 50 says he calls me the chief in the first 10 minutes. 100 each jokes before they turn on the song. Hey, that's one of us down there. Show some respect. We need help. We need support. Hell yeah. Otherwise, we're in it by ourselves. Strangers. So instead, we choose love. We choose life. I'm just not here. Life's just not here. Nice. Congratulations. Well done. A huge, massive step in, I mean, his and everyone's um, journey. I'm, I'm proud. I'm very proud. What an episode. We had a lot going on. The whole car accident thing, I knew, I saw that coming the entire time. I know Dr. Dixon. I know. I get it. That was so stepping. That was, that was just like... Like, he can't do that. And I get it, but, like, I'd rather not have someone who isn't, who doesn't have the ability to, like, withhold saying stuff like that to a family in a hospital with their dying daughter than have somebody who is that talented. She's great, right? She's apparently really good at what she does, but, like, and this kind of also goes to Erica. Like, it's, it's like the emotionless, heartless people. It's like, I don't, we don't want, I, I don't want them personally. I don't know what y'all think. I mean, maybe y'all are more like results and screw, screw, uh, you know, emotion and, and, uh, 
uh, kindness and stuff. Like in this scenario, when it's a hospital, I go the opposite way. And in, in many things, I'm more like results other than what kind of person they are. But here I'm like, I feel like you need that blend. And I feel like Erica did not have the correct blend. And I don't think she has the correct blend. Like you want, you want, you want a, a shepherd, a guy who is, can show that care and respect, but also be really good at what he does. So like I, and I feel like you don't want someone who sucks at their job, but is very kind and respectful. But you also don't want somebody who is really great at their job, but is very just oblivious to the respectful aspect of what comes with the job. I know it's a TV show, uh, but that whole fixing the vocal cord thing to talk again was really cool. And like bravo on Sloan for that. And he, I mean, he's one of those who's not really respectful, but he's really good at the job. So um, that was impressive. And it see, but it seems like he's learning, you know? He's learning and progressing to try to get better. And I think Erica was trying to do that as well towards the end, but then she just like got booted. Um, but anyways, yeah, that vocal thing was cool as hell. Uh, and it was also a cool little lesson in TV, you know, like the whole, she was so dependent on that new way of life. And it was like she was scared to go back or she was scared to see what would happen if she were to move on from that. Um, uh, more so like, what if something bad happens or what if, what if it goes away again or what if, you know, whatever, whatever people think of when they do that in every, there's so many different aspects in life. When people have something and then they lose something or they have to alter their way of life. And they get dependent and they do that new way of life for a while to where it's really hard to go back when you don't need it anymore. So that was that was a cool little like realism kind of aspect there that happens every day, every year with probably millions of people in the world uh, for really any kind of different reason. You just gotta take that next step, you know? You gotta, it might be hard, it might be difficult, it might be scary, but if you're able to do it, you know, you grow, you get stronger, and you, you know, life continues. Great episode. I liked it. Lexi and Sloan. Oh no. Like the video, comment down below, subscribe if you have not already. I was about to say we're getting close to the end of season five. That's not true. Um, I was thinking of a different show at that current time. Yeah, we got a ways. <laughs> we got a ways, guys, in season five. So we will continue that. I will see you all next time.